Hello YouTube. And that was a demonstration of my uh, multi-sensor doing its job with the audio present sensing. Uh, when I spoke, the lights came on. Um, that's because Ord Trig is armed. Um, as you can see, there's also borders around Ord Trig and Ord Extend, which denote the fact that it can hear that I'm talking and when I stop, they should go away. Yes, they do. Um, the sense timer is set to five seconds, um, and if I turn this off, actually I'll wait for it to go off first. Now I can carry on talking, and with a bit of luck the lights will go off because five seconds elapsed. Um, now, um, now I've turned these two buttons that arm the audio trigger and the audio extend mode off, um, they still show that there's audio going on, but they just don't actually affect the lights. Um, and the only things that would affect the lights now are PIR and micro. I should probably show you the actual multi-sensor. There it is up there on the ceiling. It's very dark in here, so you can't see it very well. Um, but uh, yeah, so each one of those multi-sensors um, has now got an instance within my light scene control system here in Node Red. And we can have multiple instances per um, lighting zone um, and now if I waggle my leg um, what you should see is um, the little PIR um, button will have an outline around it and that will trigger the lights to come on to full by the way they come on to the thing which is love-hearted now if I wanted to change um, change it to come on to say warm medium instead of full I would go down to warm medium and hit that as the default. And as you can see, that's now love hearted. Um, and um, the other way that I could do it is I actually could set the scene, which um, in my case, I've got the action of setting the scene, also setting it as the default. That's because that seems logical in my mind. Um, if I walk into a room, set the scene, and then turn the lights off, when I next walk in, I want it to come back onto the scene that I previously set. Um, but you could turn that off um, if you wanted. Um, anyway, sunset reading is the default scene now. Um, we'll just turn it off. And then if I, um, as I say, if I uh, waggle my foot, PIR should come on um, and the light should come on again. So here we go. There we go. Well, the lights did come on, uh, but they've come on to a very low setting. Um, I've stopped waggling and they'll go off. Boom, they've gone off. You see that? Um, so if I re-waggle and then hit audio extend, um, actually I'll turn audio extend on first. Um, if I re-waggle my foot for the PIR and then turn audio extend on, um, that should... There you go. And now when I talk, what should happen is that the lights should stay on. And they have so far stayed on. Yeah, there we go. I'm carrying on talking. There is noise in the room. It knows not to turn the lights off. So yeah, it's pretty obvious, hopefully from this, that Audio Trig would do the job of turning the lights on when there's noise in the room. And Aud Extend will do the job of keeping them on when there's noise in the room. This is more useful in um, in from testing because actually you don't want the um, lights to keep triggering on whenever there's a little kind of bang or a car outside or whatever um, but you really do want them to stay on when there's um, noise in the room now I've got the washing machine on in the background um, so I've had to turn the audio threshold up but it goes really sensitive so if I stop talking for five whole slow seconds um, these lights should go off There we go. And when I talk again, they won't go back on because order trig is not um, turned on. But yeah, I can set this threshold really low, like maybe to here. And it picked up the noise in the background, which you might be able to hear on this video. I'll just do this to see if it picks this up. It's picking up the noise in the background. Maybe if I set it to 100, that might be a bit more. Yeah, click. A click is 
about right for a click. Anyway, there is a demonstration of my multi-sensor um, integrated into Node Red. Hope you enjoyed. Oh no, I realised I didn't show you the um, LEDs, what the LEDs button does, it's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, if I turn the LEDs button on, it kind of goes that crazy, um, that's a little CSS trick to get a gradient on there. Um, goes that kind of crazy lit up thing. And the reason for that is because what it does is it turns LEDs on on this multi-sensor when there's a certain type of presence. So there it is, the multi-sensor, a bit grainy. Um, and I'll stop talking and now LEDs is turned on here. Now when I speak, it should come on. There you go. That's cool, isn't it? And when I stop speaking, it goes off. Now, I can't be bothered to move and test the microwave um, and PIR sensor by moving around. So I've got these little buttons on Node Red, which I'm going to use to simulate that. But if there's a PIR, uh, if someone walks under it, that happens. And if there's a microwave um, sensor, which is a bit more sensitive than the PIR, then that happens. So this is pretty useful for the purposes of testing. Obviously, when you're placing the multi-sensor on the ceiling, um, you might want to, you know, turn those LEDs on so you know how sensitive it is. Um, you can also, um, oh, light's gone off. So hit the PIR button and hopefully they should come back on. Yes, they do. Um, yeah, that's it really. Oh, the other thing I might just quickly show is that on this multi-sensor, I don't know if you can see the little um, Alexa, set bedroom lights to five. I'll keep them on, hopefully. Um, can you see this little uh, PIR in the middle? And then you can see the little ring of dots around it. That ring of dots exists to be able to put this shield, um, which you can 3D print to any kind of angle. It can either cover, you know, 50% of it, or, you know, basically, can 3D print to any angle um, and what it does in my case here I've got it shielding the bed um, because I don't want you know moving in the bed like if you move your leg in the bed or whatever for it to set that off um, but I do want it to be set off when you walk under it so there you go thanks for watching